Thank you for the introduction. Uh, my name is Dario Laferte from the University of Castle. I would like to present today uh, a work of our institution, Black Start, an island operation of distribution grids with significant penetration of renewable resources. <clears throat> the outline of, uh, of this presentation is a short introduction, um, a little bit about Black Star and island operation, the modeling of, the, of this approach, the simulation analysis, and after that, conclusions. <clears throat> The motivation here is the increase of distributed generation in distribution grids, such PV systems, and also in which form they can participate in the re-energizing process after a blackout of distribution grids. And for that reason, we are thinking here about a bottom-up strategy to re-energize the grid after a blackout. This bottom-up strategy is uh, starting with Black Star units to form island grids in order to operate and synchronize them after that to support the restoration process of the entire power system. For that reason, we are using here as Black Star unit a mobile diesel emergency supply units in order to provide this cranking power and the restart of the distribution grid and, of course, to supply the self-consumption of, of, of further power plants. And also we include here in our investigation the participation of uh, further renewable resources, such as uh, biogas power plant. The focus here is on frequency control. This analysis was performed in Dixie Power Factory. The emergency supply unit and the biogas power plant work in isochronous and droop frequency control modes. The loads are modeled considering voltage and frequency dependency. And the Gs are also model considering over and under frequency protections, uh, power frequency control, and um, power ramp up behavior after reconnection. And this test system is based on real uh, grid data of a German distribution system operator. The Black Star <coughs> capability is the capability of a generation unit to start by themselves without uh, external help. And we need these units to restart the grid and to take the grid uh, again into operation after a blackout. And they are a prerequisite for the bottom-up strategy. Um, for that reason, we thought, uh, considering that, for example, PV system uh, at, uh, at the moment don't have um, black star capability, we need to use a mobile diesel system to provide this cranking power for the grid, and after that, uh, consider the possibility to move this mobile diesel system to another subgrid in order to support the restoration process of the entire grid. Um, for that reason, after a blackout, we have to segment the grid in subgrids, and we have a grid island if this grid can operate autarkic and independently of the interconnected power system. And we have here the major challenge for island operation, that is the possible generation consumption in balance, considering a significant presence of the distributed generators. And for that reason, if we have a, a large amount of distributed generation, and also what, uh, what we heard in the previous presentation, and, and, and a reconnection of all distribution generators like uh, all PV system with a cut-off frequency of uh, 50.2, they can compromise the success of the restoration process. We have here the active power control concept according to the German low voltage grid code. And we see here that we start with the active power reduction we start here with the power active uh, reduction by 50.2, and we have the, the active power reduction with uh, first 40% uh, per, uh, per, uh, per hertz until to 51.5. The problem is we still have here 48% of the active power injection, and that means the disconnection of PV system could compromise the success of the uh, restoration process and also have the risk of a compl complete um, power um, instability situation. And we are not using here 
the active power reduction capability of distributed generators. The modeling here for, uh, for this approach, we have here the test system. And this test system has two rural low voltage grids and a biogas power plant at the low voltage uh, level. And they are connected uh, through a section of the middle voltage distribution grid. And the test system based on real grid data of a German uh, distribution system operator and distrib the distributed generation and loads are represented here by a dynamic distribution system equivalent. And we consider the, uh, for this equivalent normal operation and op op behavior after reconnection. Um, distribution lines here at the middle voltage level are uh, implemented with electrical cables. The low voltage loads are modeled considering frequency and voltage dependency and also the behavior under a core load pickup situation. We have here the, an exponential load model considering the, with this um, uh, exponent we have the voltage dependency and with this factor we have the um, frequency dependency and we have here the equation for the uh, core load pickup behavior. The distributed generation uh, the DGs are model considering the WECC generic PV model. And we have two operation modes, normal operation and reconnection, uh, operation in, after reconnection. And we include here uh, frequency protections, active power reduction by over frequency, and also an active power ramp up behavior after reconnection. And this power up uh, behavior uh, ha has a uh, active power limitation of 10% of the nominal power per minute for a period of 10 minutes. The diesel unit and the biogas power plant are model considering a combustion engine for the governor. The excitation system were taken from the global library of power factory and the synchronous generator were implemented uh, considering commercial um, generator data. And the, this cover, governor system allows uh, isochronous and droop frequency control modes. We have here the simulation analysis. Uh, we have here a middle voltage section, at, uh, 20 kV uh, middle voltage sections. The grid wa wa was implemented in power fa factory. We have here uh, two rural uh, distribution grids, low voltage distribution grids, and the consumption and generate, generation are represented by this dynamic uh, distribution system equivalent. We have here the ESU, the, the diesel mobile emergency supply unit, and here the, the biogas power plant. I, I show here the, the nominal values of the consumption and, generate, and generation, and how I said the distribution lines are electrical cables. And the starting situation of this analysis is an entire blackout. For the black star, we re-energize the low voltage side of the transformer at the substation one. And we can see here the output frequency of the ESU. And as soon as we achieve a nominal speed, we activate the excitation system of the ESU in order to achieve nominal voltage, and after that, we re re reconnect the feeders of this uh, low voltage grid. We set a higher frequency set point in order to avoid the reconnection of PV system if they are connected directly to the low voltage side of the tr transformer. After reconnection, we change the frequency set point again to 50 hertz, and we can see here the the graphic of the active power participation in the grid. In red, we have the ECU injection without PV, and in, in blue, the ECU injection with PV. And in green, we have the injection of the PV system. And we can see also here the effect of core load pickup and the reduction of the active power injection by, by the ECU. And according to the, this 10 minute period, we have enough time to stabilize the frequency considering the PV injections. 
After that, we have an ex the expansion of the uh, island grid at the middle voltage level and the synchronization of the biogas power plant. We have here three actions. At first, we connect the transformer of the substation one. After that, we reconnect the middle voltage line with the transformer of the biogas power plant substation. We reconnect them together in order to avoid the sharing current of, electrical, of the electrical line. And here we can see the, the, this process of the, uh, in the active power graphic. In blue, we have the act active power injection of the ESU. Um, we change the frequency control mode from isochronous to uh, drop control mode. And after that, we synchronize the biogas power plant. On, on this plant, take, it takes over the frequency control of the entire grid. After set stabilization, we set a new power set point for, for the ESU in order to save fuel. And the BEP compensate the, uh, the active power injection. After that, we have a further expansion and pickup of loads of this uh, middle voltage grid island. Um, we reconnect, at first, we have an increase in the consumption at station one. After that, we reconnect a middle voltage line with the transformer at substation two. And the third uh, step is the reconnection of the feeders of this uh, low voltage grid in order to have consumption and uh, distributed generation. We have here the frequency, the grid frequency at station one. The first oscillation sh uh, show the, cons the in increase of the consumption at station one. After that, we have the reconnection of line and transformer, and then we have the reconnection of the feeders at station two, reconnecting 50% of the peak load. And we can see the, the governor system of the biogas power plant uh, with the support of the ESU can stabilize the frequency in after a few seconds. And what happens with the active power? How I said, we change the frequency control mode of the ESU to droop control mode. We say have a, the, the biogas power plant takes over the frequency control of the grid. We set a new power set point for, for the ESU. And at this point, we increase the consumption at station one. We reconnect the farther section of the middle voltage grid, and after that, we reconnect the consumption and uh, generation at station two. And uh, considering the effect of coal load pickup, both power plants, diesel and biogas, uh, have to increase the active power injection. The fourth step of this approach is the disconnection of the ESU. How I said, we are using here or thinking about to use a mobile diesel um, supply unit in order to use this unit to restore the, another subgrid or grid island in the distribution system. The, the idea here is to provide cranking power and the restart of the distribution grids in, in order to reconnect further generation plants like biomass or biogas power plants. The idea here is to reduce the power injection of the ESU, and for that reason, we have here a frequency drop. And after a few seconds, the governor system of the biogas power plant can recover the frequency, and by zero active power injection of the ESU, we disconnect these uh, generation units, and the biogas power plant needs only a few seconds to restore the frequency to a nominal value. The conclusions. Uh, we have shown the technical feasibility of Black Star and Island operation of distribution grids. Um, we have to consider that for this approach, we did, didn't consider um, protection devices and that should be integrated in a further approach. A grid forming unit needs, a grid forming unit needs to work in a synchronous frequency control mode. That means that it, this is an active frequency control mode, and droop frequency control mode is actually a, a, an active power control mode with a frequency influence. It is rec uh, recommendable to reconnect transformers 
and electrical cables together in order to avoid or minimize the charging current of uh, these electrical lines. If we have uh, further generation plans, uh, we need to synchronize them. And the ECU, the Black Star unit, should change to drop frequency control mode in order to set a lower set point on safe uh, fuel. Um, and if we have uh, biogas power plants or biomass power plants working as grid forming units, we uh, didn't need the utilization of diesel power systems. Uh, um, nevertheless, the feasibility of this approach is subjected to the grid code requirements. We ha have seen in the previous pre presentation, if we have all PV systems, the, this can compromise the success of the restoration process if we, if we don't um, have the possibility to um, control the frequency to a nominal value. And for that reason, this all PV system uh, could deteriorate the restoration process uh, considering this uncontrolled label reconnection. But distribute, distributed generation can improve the restoration process if island operation is allowed and Black Star capability is uh, available or implemented, for example, for PV power plants. If we, con if we consider the permanent increase of TGs, these all distribution system operators, in collaboration with transmission system operators, could, could um, set reconnection steps of generation units at the distribution level to enhance the overall restoration process. But what's the feedback for India? For smart grid operation, PV system need frequency and voltage control fun functionalities and dispatch control. And it is important that grid forming characteristics for PV system should be implemented in order to provide uh, the possibility of island operation. And also, we need to improve grid code requirements. I show here a two graphics of a further work of our department. On the left, we have different um, um, power frequency characteristics. And on the right, we have the frequency response of a distribution grid, um, considering the loss of an important amount of load, of consumption. If, if the inverter system can, can produce a, a fast active power reduction, we can avoid that the frequency goes to an un permit value, for example, over 51.2.5. And for that reason, we need to discuss here which characteristics or which requirements of our low voltage grid codes are necessary for the improve or for the inclusion of a large amount of uh, distributed generators. Uh, you have here well, our contact information. Could we uh, conclude soon, please? Thank you very much for your attention. Thank, thank you very much, much indeed. Um, and uh, sorry to uh, interrupt there, but I thought we had conclusions and then we seem to be uh, heading into a second presentation. Probably not. But uh, now we have had uh, two presentations of the uh, combined project, and I'm sure you're dying to have uh, your question answered. Fire away, please. Shri from uh, VAT. Uh, uh, can you tell me what is this electric control box, and how do you do the modeling of that one? Uh, this is, sorry, can you repeat the question a, a, uh, a little bit slowly? Uh, in the diesel generator model, uh, you have the electric control box uh, before the actuator thing. In the transfer function modeling, uh, you yes. have the electric control box. So can you uh, tell me the transfer function modeling of that one? Yeah, we, we are using here the well-known uh, Wood Road governor system. And uh, we, we use for, for this approach uh, uh, data from the literature for, um, from studies that use uh, diesel mobile systems or uh, biogas power plants. And the electric control box um, is the is an, um, a, a important issue of this governor system because of the, according to this parameterization, we have the frequency response of the governor. Uh, but we use uh, values that uh, already have been used 
in other um, studies of the literature, and, and we are also doing a, a validation of, of this model. For that reason, we used in the, in the previous work uh, the same parametration of, uh, at, the, at the second work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the same question: uh, What is the equivalent physical device of the electrical control box? Actually, uh, when we are taking uh, any frequency control, we have a motor generator, and its transfer function only we will derive. So similarly, in an electric control box, it is you have given a transfer function. It will be a physical equivalent of any system. So what will be the system of that electric control box? Yeah, sorry, we, we, I, I can't respond to this uh, question in, in detail because uh, that's not the focus of our work. How I said, we used a, a model system that uh, had been used in the l l literature or in previous work and, and yes. Okay, I wonder if I could uh, pose a very simple question myself. Um, if you are in the distribution uh, uh, network which uh, is uh, normally co connected upwards to transmission, and I'm assuming that that's what we're looking at, uh, when you lose your uh, uh, transmission in-feed, um, uh, you have uh, demonstrated an effective way of dealing with it. Uh, are you then suggesting that uh, you would synchronize uh, with the transmission network once it gets back high, at higher voltages, or are you even looking at uh, uh, energizing further upwards? I remember doing about eight years ago a project where we were with wind power trying to uh, re-energize the whole of the Great Britain uh, 60 gigawatt system within 500 megawatt wind farm. So uh, rest to uh, black start for big systems is something that we are increasingly needing to look at. But is that what you're looking at? Or are you just saying we will have a synchronized system synchronizer on it or we will uh, take it down and then uh, re-energize from the top? Um, that's a good question, um, actually. And um, as you already pointed out, uh, this depends on the, um, the system size we are looking at. So for, um, uh, as I said, the, the um, national project uh, Netscraft is quite a large one. So we, have an, we cannot present everything here, of course. So we have another case study, which is uh, with a uh, um, distribution system operator of a larger city and uh, so it's going into the high voltage system uh, using um, uh, gas uh, uh, so gas turbines actually um, as a grid forming uh, units at the high voltage area and so it's possible to resupply approximately two thirds of the um, uh, of the city and uh, so they have a synchronization device and um, uh, there the idea is not to disconnect the city again and then uh, re-energize by transmission but synchronize the existing island. Now we have been talking about uh, the small, um, very small island systems, so we're looking at some low voltage system or extended with medium voltage. And there, um, I think it doesn't make uh, much sense at the very beginning to have all, all the way uh, synchronization devices uh, from the beginning, but it's a starting point, so we are now just looking. Um, there's also another work to analyze what is the applicability, applicability throughout the grid, because you need to have a, uh, certain grid forming capable units, you need to have sufficient uh, generation available, and so to analyze where you can build actually islands like that, and then you have to think about, does it make sense to build in parallel islands and synchronize them? So there are different ways. So here now the first starting point is, can I, using uh, renewable energies uh, in the distribution available, um, can I build an island? And then if it's possible, and we see that it's replicable, it, uh, it can be scalable um, to a larger degree, then we need to think about the synchronization issue in, uh, in more detail. Thank you very much.